Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we are going to talk about the new Christensen Wolverine. The Wolverine is part of the Christensen Nautilus family, and you can see it. It's got a lot of Nautilus-influenced outline, a lot of Nautilus-influenced rocker. Where the difference is, is the outline steps in right here with this wing, goes back into a swallowtail, which the Nautilus does as well, and it goes to a twin fin on the bottom using Chris's more upright fin template. Not a keel fin, but a little bit more upright MR style twin fin. What you can't see when you're looking at photos or video clips of people riding this board is I feel like uh, Chris is like next generation of boards, like whether it be the Wolverine or the new Osprey, everything is becoming more foiled out and more like what people would call uh, refined. And so like while the outline maybe may look a lot like a Nautilus, the rails like throughout the board are a little bit uh, less boxy. It's definitely less boxy up here, like under the chest, thinner up here in the nose and throughout the entire board, just a little bit more refined uh, than the Nautilus. And you'll actually see a lot of the new Nautilus is coming out like that as well. But I feel like in this board, Chris is really trying to push performance and uh, like progression um, in the design. So when Chris is talking about this board, um, he talks about long rail surfing, like more projection and it being a great travel board. So when Chris is talking about long rail surfing, obviously he's talking about long rail, right? So this board is designed to be ridden longer. Um, you're typically gonna see this board longer than six feet up to about 7072 max. And uh, it's meant to be served longer. So you don't wanna try and size it down into like a five six, like it's really meant like for the six twos to be used for lighter weight surfers and like the six tens and the seven O's to be used for larger surfers or as many people politely say, more mature surfers rather than larger because you just don't want to offend anybody these days. Um, but yeah, that's longer rail surfing. What longer rail does for you is it just gives you more, more drive out of a longer rail, it gives you more momentum based surfing. And uh, it's just, you know, it's addictive. It's super, super fun, especially on a good board. Like a lot of people associate performance with shorter boards, but once you have a board like this, that's actually made as a performance board, but with a target of longer rail surfing, it's, uh, it's a lot like surfing a, a big mountain powder board above tree line at like full speed to the point where like every piece of your equipment is whistling and you're just absolutely hauling the mail. That's what long rail surfing feels like at speed. It's basically like above tree line snowboarding. So that's what Chris is talking about when he's talking about long rail surfing. The sessions that I've gotten on this board to like be able to share the feedback. Um, my first session was at the lighthouse. Actually we had a, uh, a memorial paddle out for Ray Gray and uh, who is a, a great person and leader here in our community. And uh, it was, we, and, and what do you know, like we had uh, best waves of the longest period stretch right there, like for Ray's paddle out. So Ray was looking down on us and Ray's right was working. But yeah, super fun day in the water. And right off the bat, uh, I click with this board, got some great waves on it. Um, some nice taking off behind the peak, little covers on it. And, and right off the bat, like good front side, backside waves, turns, good wave count, and just good speed control and, and really feeling the flow of the twin fin and also the speed of the twin fin because it has less friction than a thruster is which is what you'll normally find on a nautilus thruster or quad the difference between this and a nautilus twin is that's why chris added the wing i've i've also served a nautilus twin uh to date i've got three nautilus or i guess they'd be nautili or school of nautilus at that point uh two 610 thrusters and a 6.8 twin. And what I noticed on the twin fin Nautilus with Chris's fins is that when you push it really hard off the top, like you can get it to like control slide out or, or even out of control slide out a little bit. Um, you can upsize it by going to like a Futures EN or a Power Twin from FCS, which, cause you'll actually see Bo Cram ride that board a lot and he's riding it with the Power Twin. So Chris wanted to have that style of board that you could ride with his fin template. So he brought the tail in and that allows you to use his fins and you ride a smaller fin, which is gonna be less drag, go faster and still have total control. So that definitely solved the slidiness, like when you're pushing super hard off the top and keeps the board connected uh, to the wave. 
Let's talk about like wave range. That first day at the lighthouse was, I would say like consistently chest high with like good, good punch. There was smaller waves and bigger waves. The travel board aspect of this thing is absolutely dead on. On our strike mission to Pavones, I rode this thing, probably my most used board of the trip, or actually definitely my most used board of the trip and my favorite board of the trip with a super wide range on the range of like wave size and, and shape that it worked in. Um, at the peak of the swell, it was, well overhead, um, some double overhead sets on the takeoff and uh, total control, super easy hunting down the waves that you wanted like in a, in a pretty spread out playing field and uh, great speed, great control and really good like speed building. Um, Cause that board is, I guess like, I'm gonna, quote Paul, I'm gonna quote Paul Murray, like one of my friends up in Rhode Island from Matunic. Um, like he's the mayor of Matunic, Rhode Island. Absolute balls to the wall, no cutbacks. You're just like going as fast as you possibly can to keep up with the wave. And then every once in a while, it's gonna open up and give you like a good section for turns. This thing generates plenty of speed to keep up with the wave and uh, is just super fun when you get to the turn sections and can hold in like in a turn at, at any speed that you're capable of going on it. So really, really fun. Smallest end of the spectrum, uh, like riding at the end section of that wave, uh, which is called the wall. And um, I had some smaller days down there that were like, I don't know, waist to chest. And by the end of the wave, it's like thigh to waist and pretty slopey. And uh, it's still going on that part of the wave as well and still performance and fun and lively. A lot of times like you get something like a 610 on a thigh to waist high wave and it, it really doesn't feel all that good um, where this thing still feels, still feels really lively. So. The, the thing that I noticed about it immediately when I got on the wave, you know, other than like the paddling and, and the speed was how free it felt in the wave. So like it was able to turn and bend and generate speed like any at any part of the wave where a lot of the other boards uh, were, were sticky. Um, this thing was like loose and free and, and just absolutely flying. Um, down the line. So I was really, really stoked on it. Accessibility wise, it's, you know, every bit as easy as a Nautilus. For those of you ridden a Nautilus or a Surfer Rosa or a lane splitter, it's e as easy as those boards to ride, uh, you know, from a lower ability level. And, you know, from an upper ability level, like the Australian guys, they just dropped that crazy edit in Endo. And there was a bunch of guys riding Wolverines over there. And uh, they were just absolutely destroying it on those boards. So uh, covers like a wide range of ability levels and uh, a super wide range of wave conditions. So definitely a home run. The Christensen Wolverine. If any of you have any questions on this board, on the Wolverine, or would like to place an order for one, either stock or custom, you can always call us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.